Welcome to Hearthstone Top 5! My name is Benjamin Hero and today we'll be discussing <laughs> the top 5 unofficially deleted cards in honour of my best friend, good friend, nephew, son, grandfather, whatever you might call him, Yogg Saron, getting the nerve stick, the ban hammer, whatever you want to call it. I thought, you know what, let's make a list of the top 5 cards that equally got the nerve stick that Blizzard essentially deleted from the game. It might not be officially deleted, but these 5 cards are in essence never to be seen again ever since they have been changed. This list is going to bring a lot of, how do I say, <laughs> a lot of pent up emotion. It's going to be quite an emotional list because some of these cards have had some really great memories for a lot of you, I, I imagine. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up because this list is gonna get <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Let's go! At number five, we have Keeper of I the Grove. The when land. Standard was about to hit, Blizzard wanted to hit some of the more staple Druid cards, and on its hit list, <laughs> That's funny, it was Keeper of the I Grove, must because the at the time Keeper was a 2-4 minion with a bit too much value, it could silence any minion or it could deal 2 damage and it came with a 2-4 body and pretty much almost every Druid deck at the time was running that guy. So what Blizzard did, instead of nerfing the effect, they simply nerfed the stat line. They, they, they changed Keeper from a 2-4 to a 2-2 two, two minion and that effectively removed him from the game. It deleted him from every single Druid's arsenal. Because it turns out, if you remove 2 HP from a 2-4 minion, everything changes. Whereas before in the past, when you played Keeper to let's say silence a minion or deal 2 damage, you still have the 2-4 body left over. And it can trade for 2 minions, such as it can trade for any 3 twos or it can survive any 2 3s trading into it, meaning it can take another minion out, any 3 2 minion. Whereas before, whereas now, it being a 2 2, it can die to any 1 minion plus ping, it can die to any 2 mana minion, at least the most common ones, and it just turned it into the trash pile. I must safeguard now, the you, land. If you ever say keep off the grove, you'd be thinking to yourself, my lord, is this car still in the game? <laughs> what I always find funny is, instead of safeguarding the land, he should have safeguarded his starting position in the game! <laughs> I have been mean to say that for such a long time. <laughs> Damn, in essence, Keeper of the Grove could not keep his place in the game! <laughs> Let's get to number four. Speaking of deleted Druid cards, at number four we have the Ancient of Law. The Ancient of Law used to be a super staple among staple cards. It used to literally be the stapler of the Druid's arsenal. It was a card, let me tell you how Druid's decks begin. First you put in two Keeper of the Grove, you put in two Ancient of Law, you put in two Swipes, and then you throw the rest. The Ancient of Law was the card of Druid. And because it was so used and so played, Blizzard thought, hmm, hmm, this card's a bit too good. How can we, how can we change the card so it isn't played as much? So they simply made him draw one card instead of two card, and Blizzard succeeded in deleting the card from the game. You will not see this guy in any more Druid list, because people think, Hang on, why the hell don't I just simply run as your Drake if I want to draw a card? In essence, paying 7 mana for a 5-5 five, five minion to draw one card? It, it's, not, it's not good! <laughs> it is not good! So Druids essentially abandoned the card and put in the same category with, uh, with the Keeper of the Grove. Ancient of Law, it might as well not be in the game anymore. <laughs> Uh, it's just dust for when you disenchanted in the end. <laughs> Ancient of Law, I, I guess you should have saw that story coming. Get Ancient of Law, seeing that, okay, okay, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> Let's go to number three. At number three, we have Blade Fury. 
And Blade Fury is quite an interesting story. Before Blade Fury was just a team man card with the effect to destroy a weapon and deal their weapons attack damage to all enemy characters. This would include the hero. And now the Blizzard double its ma mana cost and it can't affect the enemy heroes anymore. Again, when Standard hit, Blizzard wanted to remove some of the more staple cards. And not only did Blizzard delete Blade Fury from the game because it was so powerful, they also deleted a whole deck archetype called Oil, Oil Rogue. Oil Rogue doesn't exist anymore. You can't play Oil Rogue anymore, not, not even in Wild. Because of the Blade Fury change, Rogues don't have any more reliable blow board clears unless you encounter Vanish and who the hell plays Vanish? Unless you're playing, of course, unless you're playing, what do you call that again? Oh, oh yes, Mill Rogue. So in essence, the reason why they nerfed Blizzard, why they nerfed Blade Fury was because so that I can open the design space more. And after the nerf, people have been waiting. When will this cart come out that would justify the deletion of Blade Fury? And we've got the South Sea Squid Face and the Deadly Fork. <laughs> Here are your cards, people. This is what Blade Fury died for, for those two cards. But again, I remain optimistic that in future expansion, we're gonna find some next card, maybe called um, Knife Fury, and it's gonna be super powerful. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe even Scissors Flurry. It's gonna believe one day a card will come out that would justify why Blade Fury got deleted. And that's why it's at number three. At number two, we have my good old friend, Starving Buzzard. Now you might think and say, my God, this card actually exists? Yes, Hunters actually do have a draw card. Boys and girls, let me take you for a quick history lesson of the Starving Buzzard. When the card was first released, it was a 2 mana 2-2 two -two with the same effect. Whenever a beast was summoned, draw a card. But then Blizzard thought, this card's a bit too powerful. So they nerfed it and made it a 2-1. Like that mattered. <laughs> and then there was a happily 2-1 minion that whenever you play a beast, whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. And Starving Buzzard would be abused. I'm talking about abused with, a, with Unleash the Hounds. It, the combo was absolutely disgusting. It was amazing. It was amazing. Whenever you draw so many cards from playing Unleash the Hounds, it was filthy. Absolutely filth. And I loved it. I loved playing Starving Buzzard, Unleash the Hounds, and seeing the shaman player cry after he has a series of totems. Yes, call me a bad person, but my, it was so damn funny. <laughs> So naturally, Blizzard thought, mm, this is a bit too powerful, but what, but what can we do? So the, the next best thing, they deleted the card from the game. Yes, they actually deleted the card from the game. They made it from a two mana card to a five mana card. And they gave it plus one, plus one. No, that, like a little con consolidation prize. <laughs> now starting Buzz is a five mana three two unplayable card. Literally unplayed. You, can't, you can't put this card in your deck. If you want to lose more, be my guest. Be my guest. Put Starving Buzzard in your deck. But Starving Buzzard, it, said, it was the first card to properly receive the Blizzard. You are not being played again. You are deleted and removed from the game treatment. And it's quite shocking. But at least it still retained the soul of the card. <laughs> the soul of the card, boys and girls. Never forget. At number one, we have the most tragic card in the whole of Hearthstone. War Charge Song forward. Commander! 
Warzone Commander, I don't even know where to begin with this card, but <laughs> let's begin with the history. At the beginning, again, it was a free mana minion with the, with the effect of giving any minion charge. And as you can imagine, this card was abused harder than, than the Starving Buzzard and Leech Hard combo back in the days. So Blizzard changed the card to make it give any minion with free or less attack, uh, attack charge. And for a long time, no one played with Warsaw Commander. Until everyone, everyone get in here! The, the Grim, the Grim Patron! Once the Grim Patron came here. and it was combined with the Warstone so Commander forward. and the fucking Berserker, Lord, it spawned a whole new meta. The Patron meta and the, and that deck was ridiculously powerful. Warstone so Commander forward. made that deck ridiculous. Four, five. The be thirsty. The blade be thirsty. On. Everyone, get in here! Everyone, get in here! <laughs> wow. And Blizzard said, whoa, 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 you're having way too much fun. Way too much fun. Therefore, we're gonna <laughs> we gotta change the Warsome Commander. And that change to Warsome Commander, I don't think anyone could have predicted. Now it's a free mana, two free minion, which gives your charge minions plus one attack at first when i saw this change i thought it was a joke i checked i checked my calendar it wasn't april fools so i thought this must be this must be legit and ben broad famously said he kept the card they changed the way so it still has the soul of the card it's still something to do with charging but let's let's be honest Ben Broad and the whole Blizzard team essentially said Warson Commander has now officially been removed from the game. This is exactly, is essentially what they what they did. Warson Commander is was one of the biggest surprise changes. Just how heavily they nerfed the card. In the end, it proved to be the biggest, most unofficially deleted card in the game. But never forget. Charge forward. And that's it. Thank you for sticking around, making from the beginning to the end. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please think about subscribing. I know people keep telling you to subscribe. You think, Benjamin, why the hell should I subscribe to you? Well, I don't have a good reason, but I would really appreciate it if you do. And you can check out the last video where I discussed the top five custom fan made cards. Also, I need to apologize again. In my last video, I posted this amazing comment where I was going to announce for the whole month going to focus on nothing but Hearthstone. Well, well, it, well, it turns out I'm a damn liar. I, I, like, I need to apologize. Again, life got in the way. I had a work going away, but I hate giving excuses. So give me all your, all your, I don't know, give me all your, I want to give me your energy, but this is not Dragon Ball Z. Just, just I understand that again, Ah, my scheduling was was 
what was what, just bad in that voice yeah it was just it, it was just bad but thank you for your for again for your support the love for the fans i mean again i'll keep doing hosting videos till the day i die and i can't wait to start streaming for you guys there's so much more I want to do with this channel with Hearthstone and I want to see what's coming out by the end of this year I hope you can appreciate the reason why I'm doing all this Also, I want to spend some time to say farewell to Yogg Saron Yogg Saron was one of my favourite cards ever I loved the madness it did, the chaos it would cause and the amount of crying it would cause on Reddit I find it just hilarious But I also understand that if we're in a competitive scene Old Yogg was just too powerful in case you, in case you didn't know. Now if Yogg Saron gets transformed, gets sent back to the hand or gets killed while it's doing a spell madness, all the spells would stop. Whereas before, the spells would just carry on. And now overloads, overloaded cards, you will now pay the cost of overloaded cards. Whereas before you didn't. And that's a massive change. So I just want to... Remember the Yog of the past because the sad thing is we will never ever in this game can witness Yog in his oldest glory like we did before in the past. All we have now is to go on YouTube and check the videos and see what Yog's all about. But Yog, but Yog Saron, bow down to the God of Death. <laughs> Man, ye be remembered. Ye be remembered, and I bow down. To the God of Death. <laughs>